announced a while ago that uh, with the Blue Cross Blue Shield Association and 17 Blue Cross affiliates that we were launching an outpatient retail market initiative. So we are working with Blue Cross Blue Shield. We have talked to others. We have other insurance companies involved in the mix. Also, for example, Kaiser Permanente, who is a member of Civica, they're an integrated delivery network. They have retail pharmacies. We'll be supplying their retail pharmacies, but we are entering the retail market. First drug will be in the retail market in 2022. For competitive reasons, that's, you know, it's obviously we wouldn't want to say that because that would signal someone else is doing something incorrectly. And so all they have to do is, you know, change their ways and keep us out of the market and then still have bad behavior somewhere else. So we have, we're not gonna announce that. It's, it's really a question of affordability and quality of the medicines. I mean, if you read books like The Bottle of Lies by Catherine Ebon, or China RX by Rosemary Gibson, you have to be concerned about what we're importing out of China and India, right? We'll make these products in the United States. We'll, we'll enforce strict quality standards and we'll do that at an affordable price. Uh, you'll see in the retail market, big spans of pricing of a single chemical drug, a single generic drug between one pharmacy and another. And that's not because that pharmacy negotiates better than the other one. There's just manipulation of pricing going through the pharmaceutical supply chain. And, you know, the Wall Street Journal has a good infographic video about drug pricing and how complex it is. And I think it's something that you might want to have all your viewers uh, take a look at because it's, it's eye-opening how that pricing is set.